Okay, it's tuned to GDG. It's a 20 and a half inch scale and it's uh, all American woods. I'm going to do a few of these instruments in all American woods. Most notably, the top is American chestnut, which is an extinct wood. Um, and it was actually some wood that I purchased um, that was basically old barn siding, old barn sheathing. And I had heard some instruments made out of this wood and uh, was really intrigued by it. So I decided to get a hold of some, was able to get a hold of some. And uh, the wood is extinct um, because around the turn of the century there was a Chinese walnut that had a fungus or something like that that infested all the American walnuts. And basically, um, they all died. And so they stood for years and they got insect ridden. And then people cut them down and used them for like farm buildings and stuff. At least that's um, some of what I've read about it. Uh, it makes sense. Um, you've got a readily available wood to construct with and uh, a few wormholes aren't gonna hurt anything. But what's interesting about it is is that the instruments, the few instruments I've heard made out of it sound really resonant. And looking at the grain of the wood, you wouldn't think so. But I, ha I think it has something to do with how old it is. Uh, this wood definitely has to be close to 100 years old. Um, and then also, um, it has a brightness to it, um, but it's a little bit more subdued. So it kind of reminds me of a little bit brighter tone than a cedar. All right, so let's take a listen. Again, that was in GDG. Now I'm going to tune it down because I think it sounds better. F, C, F.
play that song because I want each instrument to have a certain amount of expression or I'm not going to sell it. And um, I think this makes the cut, but that's, you know, I guess that's for you to decide. But that was in D sharp, A sharp, D sharp. So it's a half step above D, A, D. Okay. And again, we have a 20 and a half inch scale here. And I wanted to try this wood out. Um, so I did something a little different. I put this on a bigger body than I normally do. So this body is more of what I make the baritones uh, out of. So it's from a different mold and I went ahead and made a short scale on this bigger body. And uh, I think it works. <laughs> Let's take a look at the instrument real quick in detail. Take a look at some of the woods. Obviously the uh, top is with the biggest difference. So it has the wormholes and everything in it. Um, again, it's American chestnut. And the species is now extinct. I'm sure it's not completely extinct. I'm sure there is there are a few trees uh, floating around there, but you're certainly not going to be harvesting this wood or seeing any of it for sale. Uh, so this was very old wood, and it's it's very delicate. That that's one of the things. It, it has a porosity to it. It reminds me of cedar, and I think you know when this wood was. much younger it probably wouldn't have been the best tone wood but now that it's aged I think it really provides a unique sound so bridge is a high grade spalted maple which you'll find on uh, violins cellos and basses the back is walnut with a maple stripe that's an inlaid hard maple strip for the back. There's a cherry nut or cherry heel along with a cherry neck. So the neck is sapwood cherry. You can see some of the green. And then um, the overlay is a heartwood cherry. And it's also old and has a few knots in it, so it kind of fits in with that theme. The um, rosette is 100 year old marble paper. Again, it fits in with the antique look here. Um, and then the peg head is a cherry, uh, sapwood cherry overlay. And then the back is again it's another cherry overlay actually they're kind of a maybe that's the hardwood heartwood I should say because I set it up where you got two different tones there on the on the overlay peg head and the back part there just something make it look a little bit better nice fine grain in the neck has a signature um, drill through nut, zero fret. Uh, it's a walnut nut with an overlay of copper. And then the sides, last but not least, are walnut, but they're stained. Uh, brass tailpiece with a, a little uh, post that you can use loop strings. I have ball end strings in it right now. There's the jack. And currently the strings on it are, that's a 22 um, Foster Browns wound, that's a 14 gauge steel, and a 12 gauge steel. So, let's hear it one more time.
that was in D sharp, A sharp, D sharp. So <clears throat> the strings are definitely brand new. I just strung this instrument up today. Just finished it today. C-sharp, C-sharp, F-sharp. Again, it's plugged in. Shut it off so you can hear it acoustically one more time. So there you have it. Um, unique, antique wood and uh, all American woods. Thanks for watching.